Waiting is not always an easy thing to do, but there are some things that are definitely worth waiting for, like the return of Jesus Christ. That's what we're doing now. We're waiting for his return. He promised that he would come back again. So let's talk about what's going to happen when he returns. For one thing, according to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 17, so shall we ever be with the Lord. We're always going to be with the Lord from that point in time on. Now, he's with us always now. His spirit lives within us, but we are going to see him face to face and live in his presence forever. Not only that, but Philippians says there's going to be a great change. Chapter 3 and verse 20, for our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. And so we're going to get a new body. Our, our body is going to be changed and it's going to stop getting sick and tired and broken down. And it's going to be a glorious body like the resurrection body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, <clears throat> what else? Uh, Romans tells us in chapter 8 and verse 19, for the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. We are waiting for the manifest. When, when something is manifest, it means that it's evident or you can see it and understand what's going on. So at the, the return of Jesus, not only is our body going to be changed, but it's going to make, uh, it's going to be evident and you're going to be able to see. Right now, when you walk through a crowd of people, you can't tell who belongs to Jesus and, and who doesn't. You, you've got to look for fruit. But when this happens, the manifestation of the sons of God is going to take place. Verse 23 says, And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. You see, we're, right now we groan because, well, we look forward to that new body. We look forward to the return of Jesus. But uh, we're, we're already and not yet. We've been given the promise of these things, and, and yet it hasn't completely come to fruition yet. But when he returns, it will. And that's going to be our, uh, the, the adoption. We're going to realize our adoption. And in verse 25, it says, But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. That's where we are right now. We're waiting patiently for the return of Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 7 says, So that you come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall also confirm you unto the end. Isn't that good news? That's incredible news. As we read about these things, the resurrection from the dead, the being present in the, the presence of Jesus Christ, the, the, our, our bodies being changed and transformed, we have the guarantee that Jesus is going to confirm us firm unto the end that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, when Jesus died on the cross for our sins, he forgave us of all of our sins, past, present, and future. And he guaranteed our inheritance in heaven. He guaranteed this day, the fact that when he returns, we're gonna stand before him blameless. Not because we're blameless in and of ourselves, but because of the righteousness that he has given to us. And that's what Galatians says, chapter five and verse five, for we through the spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Now we have that righteousness now, it's given to us at the moment that we trust in Christ. There's a, a trade that's made for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And so, so Christ is our righteousness right now. And we are seen by God as fully righteous. But at the resurrection, at the return of Christ, when he comes to get us, we're going to absolutely realize that because we're going to put off this body. We're going to put off the flesh completely. We're not going to have that battle going on inside of us anymore. And we're going to have a new glorious body and we're going to be in the presence of the Lord forever. I just want to encourage you this morning. Some things are worth waiting for. And the return of Jesus Christ is one of those things. I hope you're looking for his return. God bless you. Have a great day.